It's March 31st, 2008, and in today's Space News Update, the first European Space Station resupply cargo vehicle rendezvoused with the International Space Station today and conducted demonstration maneuvers in preparation for a docking later this week. Fourteen range rate point zero. The automated transfer vehicle negotiating the final few feet into what is known as the S forty one position, just uh, thirty six feet or eleven meters away from the complex. It should reach that uh, point just about ten seconds from now. After which uh, the retreat command will be initiated. We passed the fourteen meter point. Copy. Monitor visual. Um, mo monitor visually the holding at 11 meters. 12 meter mark passed. 0 0.07 rate. All the system is nominal. All the parameters are nominal. Copy. Eleven meters approaching. The rate is decreasing. Point zero two, point zero one. Copy. Zero is the rate. Eleven meters is the range. Copy. All right. Very good. Monitor all the systems as well. All systems nominal. And uh, the visiting vehicle officer reports that the uh, Jules Verne has reached its final point of approach for today, the S-41 point, just 36 feet away. There will be about uh, two minutes of station keeping here before the escape command is initiated. Jules Verne, just 36 feet away from the International Space Station. That will be its final destination for docking on Thursday. The retreat command has been sent. The retreat light is on. We have a confirmation of the retreat command. Uh, monitor the retreat as per the backside of the off nominal situation card uh, stage uh, S4, S41. We can see the separation of the vehicle. Less than three weeks after its maiden launch, the European Space Agency's Jules Verne Automated Transfer Vehicle, or ATV, is getting ready to dock with the International Space Station. Today, the ATV conducted an approach to the station from two miles away where it has been station keeping for the last several days. A series of engine firings brought the cargo ship to within 36 feet of the station before the Expedition 16 crew sent an abort command to cause the ATV to back off once again and station keep where it will be until docking the morning of April 3rd. These maneuvers were to test all of the ATV's vital systems, which will be required for a safe automated link-up to the station later this week. The ATV docking is scheduled for 9.40 a.m. on April 3rd. The ATV will close in on the rear port of the station's Russian Zvezda service module prior to docking. The ATV will remain at the space station until early August. After undocking, it will perform a deorbit de maneuver and burn up in the er Earth's atmosphere.
In other news, NASA has officially delayed the launch of the next space shuttle mission by six days. NASA is targeting May 31st as the launch date for Space Shuttle Discovery's STS-124 mission to deliver the large Japanese Kibo pressurized module to the International Space Station. The liftoff time is approximately 5.01 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. NASA decided to reschedule Discovery's target launch date from May 25th to May 31st after shipment of the mission's external fuel tank from its assembly plant at the Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans to Florida was delayed by weather. The tank arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on March 26. Additionally, NASA elected to move the liftoff date in order to, having, in order to avoid having the launch team work through the Memorial Day weekend. The official launch date for Discovery will be determined during the standard flight readiness review held approximately two weeks before launch. Discovery's mission is the second of three flights that will launch components to complete the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency's Kibo Laboratory. The Japanese pressurized module will be the station's largest science laboratory, measuring 37 feet long and 14 feet in diameter, about the size of a large tour bus. The shuttle also will deliver the lab's robotic arm system that support operations outside of Kibo. The lab's logistics module, which was installed in a temporary location during STS-123 in March, will be attached to the new lab. Mark Kelly will command the seven-member crew, which includes pilot Ken Ham, mission specialist Karen Nyberg, Ron Garin Jr., Mike Fossum, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Akihiko Hoshide, and Greg Chamitoff. Chamitoff will replace Expedition 16 and 17 flight engineer Garrett Riesman and remain aboard the station as a member of the Expedition 17 crew. Riesman will return to Earth with the STS-124 crew. And that is today's space update. And listen in again tomorrow for more news from the world of space flight and space exploration. If you would like to learn more information about what's going on in space, you may visit the Spacearium at www.spacearium.com or spaceflightnews.net. Again, thank you for listening in today.